Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some sort of news which I regularly do not actually get engaged in but for some reason I think it is worth it for developers out there and also Blender artists out there to actually get this thing up and running. And so the chairman of Blender Foundation and also the founder of Blender Institute and Animation Studio, Ton Rezendahl, has actually taken to Twitter and he has expressed what he feels and what he thinks Blender is all about. And it is not far-fetched from what we already know that it is a free software which is covered under a GNU and a GPL license, which simply means that you can go in there, whether you're writing the Python script or C++ script, you know, you can go in there, develop plugins for your own use and also make it public and do whatever thing you want to do with this program. Actually, you can go through the feed and I'm going to put links to this in the description so you'll be able to read everything that he has talked about this on Twitter and you would also be able to see a couple of things that other people are responding to this there is a lot of positive things coming out of here and finally in the disclaimer he said I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a licensed expert just sharing how I see this complex matter so a lot of people have taken to Twitter you know kind of saying that they wish they have so 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 and so stuff to actually you know make things for blender and they do not know what licensing and he is doing all he can directly in this tweet to you know shed some light to this thing so that if you're a developer if you're an artist if you're someone that wants to create script or to create amazing and fantastic things you'll be able to go through and get some kind of clarification so you can come through Take a look at this if you're a huge fan of blender you'll be able to see a couple of things that they've talked about and you know see how much light some people are shedding join the discussion and know what is working out for you of course this is an amazing 3d program that is totally free and it kind of knock off a lot of programs that get to do things that are in quote set to be paid but then a lot of people still take this program for granted for some reason. So if you're a Blender artist and you're feeling very, you know, happy and you want to read this stuff, you want to see some of the updates and other things that he has said earlier, I would really, really suggest that you come over. Our link is going to be in the description so you can read about these things and get informed. And if you want to see some Blender tutorials that we've made earlier, also link is going to be in the description where you can find some of the things which we've talked about for beginners and also for a couple of people that have asked certain questions. If you want to see some extra things that has to do with Blender, also put the questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you guys about those things. And this is all about it guys. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button and also turn on notification. And one more question is, how are you guys enjoying the 2.8? I would like to know what your reaction about 2.8 is and if you're super excited for the final release that is coming out soon. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit the like button. Also go ahead, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification so you don't miss the next news or the next update that is coming to you. You can also check out the channel and see other updates that we've talked about. Probably there are certain things you did not catch up with you can go ahead check them out and get informed and until i see you guys next time with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace